Hi guys, this is Nupsource playing Transport Fever. And we're about to start the penultimate mission in the European campaign, Cutting Edge Technology. France has shown us all how it's done. The entire world is marveling at Concorde, which soars through the air at almost twice the speed. There's just no equivalent on the ground. The Concorde is little use for domestic travel. The oil crisis has plunged the country into a deep recession, and on top of that has made air travel more expensive. It's time for a new great technical achievement, a sign that France has what it takes to remain a great, innovative nation, even in difficult times. Let's prove that our industrial nation is still leading the way in cutting-edge technology. France, end of the 70s. Shortly before his death, President Georges Pompidou laid some key political foundations. We will develop the next generation of high-speed train. Soon, the world's fastest trains will be zipping across France. For our undertaking, we'll need lines as straight as arrows for the new trains to whiz along at astronomical speeds to their destinations. Our objective is to ensure that the train outstrips the plane in terms of speed and that rail becomes the most popular means of transport for domestic travel. We'll make our high-speed train the pride of the entire nation. Okay, so in this mission, we are directly competing with pl plane uh, travel. Um, in this map, we have only two cities, Paris and Lyon. Uh, and what we're competing against is a uh, a bunch of uh, Concords and a bunch of Boeing 737s. Um, passengers will board and uh, board these planes. I don't know how many really. Um, in earlier playthroughs, I tried uh, deleting the road connection up to the airport, which means no passengers can get into or out of the airport. Uh, so at least the animation will show that nobody is coming on or off the airport or the airplanes. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have any impact on the mission or the gameplay itself. Um, when we're starting out, we already have a railroad in place, taking advantage of the flat riverbed, but it's. Uh, quite windy and if we use the speed display we can see that there are a lot of curves that make the train slow down and after all this mission is about fast plane uh, fast trains and in the end we have to uh, use the TGV to set some speed records uh, but uh, let's get started with the mission the stretch between Paris and Lyon is absolutely perfect for the first stage of our project. At the moment, the journey is a bumpy ride. It rocks and rattles, and tea spills over the brims of cups along the bends. What's more, the journey takes far too long. If a line worthy of the new high-speed train is to be built here, we'll need to make urgent improvements. Let's lay the tracks so that we avoid having to brake. This is the only way we can achieve truly high speeds. The connection should also be as direct as possible. Our budget is limited, so a single track line with passing sidings will have to do. Um, yes, so connect Paris main station, Lyon main station. So trains can achieve an average journey time of less than seven minutes. Uh, so one thing we could do to this uh, to the current rail layout was to uh, change some of the uh, change some of the corners and maybe cut off a bit of the track here by putting in a tunnel and another one here and again here this is quite a detour but in the end that's both expensive and not effective enough so what 
makes sense is to put in a 300 km an hour line ready for the TDB from the very beginning. And if we look at the height map, um, the terrain kind of leads to two different approaches. One going nearly straight out of Paris, under this hill, down by the riverbed, through this hill, and then by the riverbed until Lyon. Or, the one I'd rather use is taking the more western approach. Um, there's a lot of flat land here, so we can do most of the track just as a straight line down here and then curve it under the under the hills and almost straight into Lyon. While at the other end here we'll have to go through this hill and take a sharp turn just outside of Paris. Um, yes. Uh, so getting the first track of the high speed line in will be Speed, catenaries. Then I will start with the straight sections just to make it a little bit easier. Got to make sure that I get the steel bridge. So the bridge also has a speed limit of 300. Tunnel and oh, that's quite a scenic route. Then down here we need to get it into Paris Station. So now there's a new line, and the route planer already, the line manager already picked out that would work. So the train that's already on the old road will come into Paris and then change over to the new road. Um, so we have a slow corner just out of Paris but that doesn't matter because we are, the train will be slowing down into the station and coming out slow from the station. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. And at the moment, the train takes about 14 minutes each way. So I think it doesn't make sense to to pay the upkeep on a locomotive with six wagons if there are no passengers, because we don't have passengers yet. So I'll set this one to upgrade. This passenger bike then is 40, so this should take a 140 locomotive. We have a diesel and an electric, and the electric is more powerful. So I'll keep the one that's already on the line and just keep one of the wagons. And then say replace. follow that train while well, it's trying out the new speedy, speedy route.
So the average travel time is 27 minutes at one second. So pretty close. Um, so the first mission here will be done when it will, when the train comes back to Paris. Very nice. We've been able to reduce the journey time considerably. Not long now until the TGV high-speed trains are operational. However, the train stations in Paris and Lyon are very poorly connected. They're located outside of the cities, out in the sticks. If we want our service to be popular, we should make sure that people can reach the train in the first place. Yeah. So, the reason we have no passengers yet is because there are barely any buildings in the pickup area of the station. Um, so we need some uh, good bus services. Um, both fast and frequent to get people to get to the stations and then hopefully the fast trains will uh, be good enough for people. Um, now that the first uh, first quest has been done. Uh, all the uh, truck and bus services have been unlocked. Uh, so now we can begin the mission proper. Uh, so before we get anywhere else, I would like to look at the five medals that we ha have to win now. We have one call, finish the mission before 2000. Um, so we have about 20 years. Financial planning never make use of a grant. And a grant in this case means taking out the extra loans that they build into the mission. So in this mission, I have to make all the money myself. Speed record achieved a speed of more than 280 kilometers an hour with the train. And that means that we have to put the TGV on the at some point. Uh, direct connection. Achieve a journey time between Paris and Lyon of under five minutes. And at the moment we are at just under the seven minutes. So a faster train like the TGV would do that. Uh, transport 500 passengers in one year. And that's probably the hardest thing about this mission. Uh, because a long and fast train service is expensive. So it's hard to find enough passengers to go on the service. And we already have a fast and expensive service running over here. And even though it doesn't seem like the game engine kind of uh, doesn't like the it's not like the airport had any big impact on how many passengers will go to the to my train line here. Uh, so it's really about attracting people that are, are rich enough to go an expensive train ride. Uh, so we just look at the overlay here for a moment. There's a few high value areas but uh, it could be a lot better. And uh, it doesn't seem that the towns are growing quite as fast in this mission as they are usually doing in a free free roaming or in a free play. Uh, so it's hard to improve on the amount of passengers. So what you can see here is we have theoretically 300 shopping and 300 uh, jobs industrial jobs 
that we could attract people from uh, Lyon to do, but most of them will be covered by the population of Paris itself. And to get uh, those people to their jobs, uh, it's already put in a bus service that I don't have any control over. But at least that will keep the, uh, the traffic to a minimum. There's traffic in a big city, a thousand population here. Uh, it's quite heavy. God, I'm mumbling. Um, so the core of it all is I have to make money myself and I have to make sure that Paris and Lyon have an sentiment to get richer, which means I have to use the industries. And there are only two industries in this map. There's a goods factory outside of Paris, and that it can produce without getting any raw material. And way in the other end here, outside Lyon, we have a machine factory, and it can also produce without getting any raw materials. So the clever thing here is to send machines all the way up this road to Paris and send goods all the way down that road to Lyon. Uh, and if we connect both cities, we'll get a demand of over 600 uh, units per year, which is uh, potential for a lot of profit. So rather than getting stuck in with the train building immediately, I'll set up a road-based industry network because I can't put in more stations, so I can't make it a rail-based network. Uh, uh, and that also means that this train could keep running back and forth without passengers for a long, long time. At least a few years. There's no reason to have it there. I'd rather just sell it and then focus on getting the cargo up and running. Okay, so what I've done this far is set up a line that takes goods from the factory to a, a cargo depot, cargo terminal on the other side of Paris. Here I have two lines going into Paris, one mostly taking care of industrial zones and one taking care of commercial zone. And then I've put in the, the long route shuttle to take goods south to Lyon and take machines back. So it's up here. And then I also put in two lines here in Lyon, which then can take machines and goods into the industrial and commercial area. Uh, now I need to put some trucks on those lines and let it build up a little. And Basically, the money that makes me will be put into improving the efficiency of this cargo route and uh, I'll spend what's left over on upgrading the new railroad to have a double track instead. Something else I need to make money, spend some money on is putting in uh, the bus network. And preferably I'll put in 
double track the roads with bus lanes because that gets the buses around and the trucks around much faster. Uh, but of course, it's, this sometimes means uh, bulldozing some buildings, making it way too expensive. Maybe I'll just make the primary roads. So the two factories have picked up the the potential customers, more than 600. At the moment it's only producing 100, but very soon we'll upgrade to 200 per year. And then pretty soon we'll be 400, and then pretty soon we'll be 800, or well, around 800. So. Pretty soon I'll need more trucks on all of these lines. And we have the first set of uh, machines. Lion Lyon produced machines are in Paris. Does that mean that there are Parisian goods. There are Parisian goods in Dion. It's shaping up nicely. So I'll just follow this track. One thing to see if it uh, slows down in the corners, like that, and to see how much money it actually makes. So 500,000 or half a million. That's a nifty amount. And uh, there were a few slowdowns in the curved motorway, but uh, nothing that worries me. Production size upgraded to the 400 limit, so I need more vehicles. Yeah. So Another five months and the and the factories will operate again. This one claims to have a potential of one thousand. That's really good. This one. Yeah, potential one thousand. Um So the toot, the cities by themselves has a demand of around 700. It seems to also be counting in the amount that needs to be on the trucks at the same time. So potential around first. So that's all good. That means money. It's basically a money printing machine.
So I'll have to check in on the cargo lines periodically. But for now I'll just start building the second track. So that was the second track. I still need to uh, put a bunch of signals on it. But I need to take care of some industry again. It's full up to 800 production. That's just So now I have the fast train line signaled up and ready to go. Uh, still need to put in a bus service in both ends to make it work. And I still need to trim the cargo line a little bit because uh, production just went up for the last time. It's close to the thousand per year production. So now I've set up a basic uh, bus line in both Paris and Lyon. Um, actually, two bus lines in each town. Uh, so they take care of one half of the city each. And I can add more buses or bigger buses on them if I need. Again, I need to look into my cargo line because it's bending up. Okay, uh, my cargo lines might need a little bit more tweaking, but it's time to put in the the train service and to really drive a lot of traffic onto the train line I not only need fast trains but I need high frequency so I'm going to put in a lot of smaller trains rather than a few big ones and my target is to put on six trains all around 100 capacity each because if they are more or less filled that's 600 passengers on the line and I need 500 in one year so that's a target um, but I don't think I can afford to buy that much in the lens so I'll start with smaller things um, so at least at least the 140 but we already have the 200 kilometers now and we yeah we don't have the TGV yet but that's because it's part of the mission uh, 
the TGB is a bit behind the scenes, the TGB will already be unlocked at this point. So, um, starting off soft with the 140 locomotive. And some 140 wagons. Let's just do three of each. So that's a train that costs 12 million. So can I actually put all six of them in at the same time? That's fantastic. You go on Paris Lyon. When this is three minutes, it could be like 151 seconds or something. Uh, with this train, it should be seven divided by three. And that's more than two, but not three minutes. station. I can already see the bus service is working. My business is not that impressive, but no. it will build. Actually, handle uh, two trains. The money is slipping through our fingers. We'll soon be bankrupt. But if we're prepared to grovel on our hands and knees, our financiers will grant us a bridge loan. As it does take, it says take out loan, but according to the medals, this one is called a grant. So, I won't take all that free money this time. I'm printing it with the use of cargo trucks. So we just got the first medal. Achieve a journey time between Paris and the of under five minutes. And Well, yes, it's uh, at the moment it's calculated to be six minutes, but apparently it's less than that. At the moment, the year. Train service is running at a huge deficit. Um, the trains are running almost empty. But then it's being bankrolled 
by my cargo trucks. The uh, Paris Lion, Paris Lyon Lion here. 20 million in profit a year. That's fantastic. I think I might as well upgrade the the city buses into the Bendy bus. To drive up the capacity. Just unlock the 40 ton truck, which is capable to 100 kilometers now and take 20 units. So that's definitely something to put on the, the Paris Paddy Lyon line. Better replace those trucks now. For two billion, it's a very profitable line. We're running pretty close to getting 500 passengers. If we get a delivery of 49 passengers in the next month, we actually get the Required. I'm a train coming in there with 63, but I'm not sure if it'll make it in time. And on the other end, I think it might be prudent to upgrade to something faster. cash to replace replace them but also when they run faster then uh, there's no need to have so many 
So please upgrade the remaining six. Or I'll be to old ones are being sold off. Okay, we're now in July, halfway through the year, and we already have 444 percentage. So this should be the year we get this mission done. The time has come. The TGV is operational. Let's ensure that domestic flight passengers realize they're sitting inside a lame duck. Soon, the fastest trains in the entire world will be zipping along our tracks. The Japanese still hold the speed record with their trains, but not for much longer. Let's upgrade our infrastructure for the trains of the future. Upgrade the connection between Paris and Lyon to a high-speed track and transport more passengers by train. Play blah, blah, blah. Um, well, the line is already ready for, for a TGV. Let's look at the metals. If you put the TGV on, it should be able to do 300 kilometers an hour, so we'll get that one. And that will also mean that we are ready to finish off the rest of the missions after that. Let's see how much it costs to just upgrade these three to TGVs. And I know it's the original orange. I don't really like it, but oh. the short one and may only have 72 capacity but the thing about these is that they have the same locomotive or drivetrain and doubling or tripling its weight uh, really makes it a struggle to get up to top speed so I'll we'll take the short and lightest one what will it cost? 43 million. Easy. So here's our first TGP. Trana Grand Bedez. We should do the trip to Lyon. The medal for speed record. The last two medals uh, will be activated at the end of the mission. If I'm still alive or viable, or if uh, I still uh, meet the criteria. So, what we need now is to have transported more. I'll train then by plane. Okay, 
Okay, a side quest has appeared here in Paris. What a triumph! The TGV has set a new speed record, but the Germans are hot on our heels with their ICE. We must remain innovative if we want to keep our noses in front. Let's speak to the project leader. He travels from Paris to Lyon regularly by train. He's currently on his way to the train station. Let's try to catch up with him before he leaves town. So let's go to the Paris main station. Too late. Our service between Paris and Lyon has become so good that the project leader has already caught a train and left the city. Let's try to catch him at his destination. And now at Lyon. No luck. Our trains are just too fast. The project leader is already on his way home. Let's pay him a visit there. We've finally tracked down the TGV project leader and now know what's troubling him. He always used to have his brilliant ideas during slow, leisurely train journeys. Now that the journey times have been shortened so radically, the ideas have dried up too. We could put on a special train that chugs along extra slowly from Paris to Lyon so that the good man can find some inspiration again. However, this endeavor must not affect our high-speed service. A real challenge. A real challenge, well... I didn't uh, remove the old track. So if you just put a waypoint on the old track, I can set up a line that won't disturb the TGB. Well, let's see what's the slower thing we have. We have a locomotive for 90. And we have the rail bus for 90. I like the V100, so I'll use that. The superlative high-speed train has made it possible. The train is more popular than the plane, and the entire world is looking at France, green with envy. Okay, so I uh, did manage to finish the last side quest, but it uh, didn't have an impact on the medals. Um, when you uh, complete that side quest, you get a an improved version of the TGV, which has a little more power and a little more uh, tractor effort. So it's just a better version. Um, so we got all five medals. We could finish before 2000. This is 1992. We didn't take out the extra loans. We did make it to the top speed of the TGV at 300. Um, the journey time was down to maybe three minutes, and we did manage to get around 600 passengers in one year. Uh, so that's all good. Um, we have only one mission left. It's the uh, uh, channel tunnel scenario which will be next week. Um, until then, if you have been watching this far, please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.